Let's take a look at the film. Let's get right. to it. There we go. There's the man of the hour, Aaron Rodgers. We know what he can do. 12 personnel, two tight ends, two receivers, a running back. We're going to see a little smoke and mirrors. We're going to bring Equinemius St. Brown in motion right here. He's following him, but look at all the attention he attracts. Look at these guys. Zayvon Collins is running out with him. The safety outside is looking at him. They're all following him, but... The ball is going to A.J. Dillon, a guy Kyle Brandt mentioned earlier will impact. Look at this space between the two backers. Five yards, and that's the exact Ooh. hole that A.J. Dillon runs through. That tight end gave that sift block the same one that Thibodeau had to go through. It's a part of the game. Luckily for the Cardinals, they have two good tackling safeties in Buda Baker and Jalen Thompson. Right now, we're going to see them coming in motion. Right now, they're going to get there. You're going to see Amari Rodgers down the bottom, A.J. Dillon. Pay attention to those guys as this play develops. But we're going to see right here a little bit of a puller. The guards pulling. The tight ends coming in motion. And you're going to think, hey, the ball's going to the left. Let's get there. Let's get there. But a little bit of misdirection. Omari Rogers on the reverse. Josiah DeGuara is the guy that's going to be leading the way along with that big old guard in the middle of it. And this is tough on the Cardinals because it's the mixed direction. It's the smoke and mirrors. It's everything going everywhere. But where's the ball? The ball is in Amari Rogers' hand, and he's getting up the sideline for a first down. Right here, second and long. The Packers are going to spread them out. Three receivers, one running back, one tight end, 11 personnel. The Cardinals know what Rodgers is capable of, so they're going to play their guys deep. Two safeties high, linebackers are getting depth because they're expecting him to pass the ball, but they forgot about one of his weapons, Aaron Jones in the backfield. They're eight yards back from the line of scrimmage, which gives him plenty of work to do what he does. And look at him get up through the hole and pick up a ton of yards that makes it a third and manageable. Right here, we're going to stay in 11 personnel. We're going to spread you out a little bit, but you're still going to see the same motion. And it's going to force these guys to communicate because now they're down around the line of scrimmage, afraid of the run. So, hey, are we running? Are we bumping? Who has him when he comes over here? He's going to go on a bubble screen, clear out by the receiver. Look at this stuff. These two guys are chasing him. St. Brown is clearing them out, opening up the space. But who has the bubble screen? Two guys can't cover one guy. Aaron Jones is going to be covered by the linebacker going up the scene. Who has Robert Tunyon? Nobody. One of Aaron Rodgers' favorite targets. Nobody has him coming across the field. And if you leave somebody open, Aaron Rodgers will find him. And Robert Tunyon picks up a ton of yards in the air. Look at this. This is just a beauty. One, Just a snap of the wrist. Tunyon trying to get an angry run, but he doesn't connect. Jalen Thompson makes a nice tackle, but the Packers are on the move. Here you go. Who are they going to throw the ball to on third down? Who are they going to throw the ball to right. on third down? That's what they down. ask. We're going to show you. Is it man? Is it zone? Aaron Rodgers trying to figure it out. Let's put all three receivers on the same side and run a little bit of motion. The cornerback Robert Alford follows him in motion. That means for Aaron Rodgers, it's man to man. What do offenses like to do in the red zone versus man? You like to run pick plays. Make guys cross, make them communicate. You'll see right there, it's man to man. Those guys aren't outside. They have an extra guy in the safety in Buda Baker. Who's he going to help? How are they going to communicate? They're going to run two slants and a guy to the flat with those two guys looking to kind of pick blockish way. They're communicating. What are they going to do? Right now, we have St. Brown in the flat. Aaron Rodgers is ready to unload. But he's not going to throw the ball. Though. No? He's not. These guys are showing uh. blocks. Look how much attention St. Brown is taking up. Buda Baker's running. Offer's running. Murphy Jr. thinks he has him in the flat, too, which is going to open up Randall Cobb, the veteran, mm. one of Aaron Rodgers' favorite target. That's where you throw the ball on third down. Pretty good and coverage. He makes yeah. them pay with a touchdown. That slight miscommunication. Do I have help inside or do I not? That's slight one step too soon, one step too late, and it ends up in a touchdown. And that's Aaron Rodgers. He's pointing to the good morning football table. Ah, you guys said I wasn't going to be able to do it. Look at me. I was 7-0 without the guy. I can get it done. Guys, what do you think? Packers yeah. offense, how are they going to look? I love that you showed that game because that is everything we need. That Cardinals game, that is going to be their offense this year. I think it's going to be a ton of Jones and Dylan, as I said, but also like that last play, most quarterbacks are going to throw it to that one on the yeah. flat, especially the young ones. Rodgers stops and then adjusts. Like yep. He is so good. Mm -hmm. You just have this faith in him that he will make it work. He will make it work. And I love that you mentioned Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon because throughout that game, 
All they did, they motioned Aaron Jones out the backfield, threw it to him in the flat a bunch of times. They split him out at wide right receiver. You saw him there running out of the backfield, running a seam route. So they're going to put him all over the place to try to get him the ball. I'm being convinced, and, and a lot because of, you know, if you have an Aaron Rodgers to Devontae Adams, like that is the obvious selection. Yep. A words that I heard you use in this segment was misdirection, smoke and mirrors, yep. and you are expecting him to do X, Y, or Z. So I guess without Devontae Adams, he's going to have to use maybe a little bit more of those things, misdirection, smoke and mirrors, because the expectation is not, there is no obvious guy anymore. For sure, and that's the thing, you get comfortable. You have a great guy in Devontae Adams. You don't need to build trust with people around him because you have Devontae. Now he's gone. So now I have to find the guy that I'm going to have the trust with and I'm going to have that relationship with. Aaron Rodgers said it earlier, one-on-one -on -one lunches. I'm getting to know these guys. I'm building the trust so when we get out there on the field, we get it done.